tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Somehow, I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. Let, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. I remember when Tiffany brought that back from art class. <laughs> All right, that's a start. Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. Getting there. Hmm. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. Okay, still unconscious. I hope he's not hurt too badly. Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. Piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell them what it does. 
It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it! His tech! Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce... These people you're with... I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce, no need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's going to want to know about your uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? You don't have to say anything to her, John, okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the Phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey now, no need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Come on, Bruce. You know how dangerous this tech could be in the wrong hands. Yoo-hoo! What the hell is going on in there? Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. Thank you. This, this makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are long gone. Whatever. Bruce. You better know what you're doing. Took you long enough? I was starting to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. Your boys did good, you know? Made Mama proud. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. that thing up too, John? I need it. Hurry it up. Bruce! Are you alright? I'm fine. Alfred. 
I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. Things could have gone so much worse. That you managed to keep both John and Tiffany quiet was... a masterstroke, Bruce. Still... That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. She shouldn't be left guessing. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes... Your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry. He'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Y yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your business client's cover story is going to cause problems. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You need to take it easy, Al. Get some rest. It's only a momentary bit of exhaustion. I'm sure it will pass. Bruce. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful, and good luck. things will kill you. Consider quitting. Ah, uh, you sound like my daughter. Here, you're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from sealed records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A uh, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but... I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. People are traumatized every day, Jim. Most find a way of dealing with it without having to bash people with a hammer. <laughs> I guess you're right. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No, just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. 
She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it.